Hello viewers, today I'm going to add a light bar to this Prado because I'm heading up north to Cobber Station and uh, up there there is cows on the road so any night driving can be a, uh, a little interesting so hopefully the light bar will light up the sides of the roads and a bit more around the front of the car the spotlights will point down the road so the light bar is a it's claimed to be a 504 watt 504 watt light bar but what we're going to do is I don't believe that that seems uh, too high actually the numbers just don't add up so what we're going to do is work out once we get it on there we'll work out what the theoretical current draw should be and uh, show you how to do that I'm, I'm sure most people probably know how to do that it's not that difficult but some may not and then make sure that this relay here which is a in the normally open uh, situation um, set up with a normally open relay at 70 amps and a normally closed they say 60 amps so they drop it down for the normally closed position um, just to give it a bit extra uh, protection I guess that's the relay that drives the current spotlights which are 100 watt light force 170s um, which I put on there because I've got them at a good price so We'll just use the same relay because that relay should have plenty of um, uh, capability to drive both. And in behind here is all the wiring, so we're just going to tap into there. So let's get uh, let's get um, the thing mounted and uh, get it wired up. So I'm just not happy with how that has a gap in there. It's not exactly right. So I'm going to actually put some, uh, I found some um, insertion rubber. So I'm going to do a couple of laps of that to make that uh, uh, fit a bit better and a bit snugger. So I'll go off and do that before I mount it up. So I've just uh, wrapped some insertion rubber there and I'll put these bits of rubber over the top and I've just put tape on there just to hold them in place that's all that does so um, yeah I'll get the rest of them on there and uh, get them in the right spot So once I um, put that extra insertion rubber there and tighten them right up, they're actually quite, quite nice now. Beautiful and uh, hugging that uh, bulb up uh, the top pipe quite nicely. So I'll just finalise the second one and um, go and uh, finish the rest off. So the uh, power wire for it goes down there, and I've just got that poked down the same place as the other spotlight in the ARB cutout. So what I'll do now is I'll take that tray off so I can get access to the underneath and uh, wire them in. Okay, so under here is the wires to the original spotlights. There's the one I've just poked through, and here is the wire to the original spotlight. So I'll, that's a very heavy wire, so I'll just into there, tap into there somewhere and I'll probably use the Deutsche plug so I'll have the ability to unplug it and replace it easily if required. So I've just pulled up the wires through here so I can solder them and I'll uh, solder them together and then uh, tape them all back up again and push them all back down and cable tie them underneath so just about to, uh, to get the big soldering iron heated up and do that.
Okay, I have those all soldered now, so I'll uh, tape them up and seal them up. Okay, I don't know if you can see that up in there, but that is all um, all um, sealed up. So now I've just got to get this uh, cable and, and cable tie it all up. So I'll do that, get it all neat and uh, secure. And then uh, we'll put the, the bottom back on. Uh, all secure. And then underneath, it's all cable tied up and all just a nice uh, loom of wires uh, trying to get the camera in the right place and a light, nice loom of wires goes up to the top all nice and secure so we'll get this uh, tray back on and then uh, have a look at the electrics okay we've got the light bar on as you can see mounted up there nicely all works it's below the bonnet line it's all legal um, uh, the 11 meter rule in front and all that that's all, all good so let's have a look. So the box claims 504 watts. Just holding the camera and doing this at the same time. So 13.8 volts, we should get 36.5 amps of current draw. That seems pretty high. So let's go and have a look at what the current draw actually is. So actually before we go and see what the other one is, let's have a look at the spotty. So we have 200 watts of spotlights. If we divide that by 13.8, we end up with 14 amps. And I've actually tested that and that is right. So that's about 14 amps. So the spotlights on their own would draw 14 amps. So let's go and have a look. At the moment they're both hooked up and it's easier for me just to take one off the other than uh, work it out. So let's go and put the clam meter on and see what the total current draw is for uh, both the light bar and the spotlight. So I guess you guys have seen these clamp meters. These are um, extremely useful when doing this sort of work. You don't have to cut any wires. You don't have to uh, tap into any, any circuits. You just put the wire through the uh, clamp and it'll test the draw. So we're going to test it here. This is the main wire going out to all the spotlights off this battery. There's the relay. The relay is a 70 amp relay so we'll stick the clamp meter on here and we'll go on uh, and we'll see what the total current draw is so let's go and uh, turn all the lights on so as you can see we have both the spotlights and the light bar on now so let's go and uh, stick the clamp meter on and, and see what it is okay you can see I've got the wire in there and you can see that's pulling about it's backwards but it's 26.8 amps 26.8 so we'll stick 26.8 up on the board, over here, 26.8 amps total. Okay, so here is uh, the truth. So the claim is 504, that's 36 amps, 504 watts is the claim on the packet. The spotlights are 200 watts and they draw 14 amps and I checked that and that's right. The actual draw of total is 26.8 amps which gives you 358 total watts. Take off the 200 for the spotlight gives you a 158 watt light bar, true wattage. It's 72 LEDs in there so each LED is uh, 2.19 watts and when you do the their calculation at 504 watts it would mean it had 7 watt LEDs, which I think they claim they might be 7 watts. Actually they do. Right there, there it is. 72 pieces, 7 watts. That's absolute uh, crap. It's not. It's 2.1 watts per LED. And this is a very common issue for um, getting cheap light bars off places like eBay. They're nowhere near what they say they are. So when you're buying these things, I already knew that they weren't, so I was quite happy, but buyer beware. Just make sure you don't think you're getting um, uh, what, says, what it says on the packet. But tonight we'll go out and we'll check the, check the uh, actual brightness and uh, see how good it is. It looks very bright in here in the daytime, so we'll uh, check that out. Okay, so we'll see you then.